Well, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Griffin in the Myth video, and today we are going to be doing a James Bradbury. He's a cornerback on the Giants. He's an All-Pro this year. He's been absolutely insane this year. So, starting off, we don't really care about tackles, the James Bradbury. He's had an insane year. Great matchups. Uh, obviously, corners. He played about 94% of snaps this year, all 16 games. So, we're going to have a breakdown on his stats So what he did. He had three picks the whole year. I forgot which games they were in, but we don't really care about tackles. He had about 50-something, 60-something. Um, so the first one, they played the Steelers first week. It's not really in order, but Juju. We guarded Juju Smith-Schuster pretty good. Caught two touchdowns. That's only on six receptions. It doesn't matter if the Steelers are a goal or a red zone threat. He only caught six balls with 69 yards. Nice. Um... Against Juju Smith-Schuster. I mean, obviously, the TikTok man. No one really likes him right now. But he's a good receiver. He's good. He's fast. He's agile. Obviously, he's a trash quarterback and a trash team. But, um, yeah. James Radbury had a pretty good game against Juju. Allen Robinson. Next week, against the Bears. He's on the Bears. Most underrated receiver in the league. Guaranteed. He's a top 10 receiver. No one talks about him. He has great stats every single year. Number one receiver on the Bears by far. And he has Mitch Trubisky. Out of all people, Mitch Trubisky. That's quarterback, and he's still a baller. Oh, um, but James Bradbury only held him to three receptions and 33 yards. That's about 11 per catch. So, yeah. James Bradbury had a great game against him. Week three against the freaking Niners. He had five receptions. Oh, I mean, against the Niners. He was guarding Brandon Ayuk, the rookie. He's... Insanely fast, insanely agile. He had five receptions for 70 yards, so that's about 14, maybe? 14 per catch, 13 and a half. For James Bradbury and Brandon Ayuk, that's pretty good. Brandon Ayuk gets so much separation. He has wheels. Not close to Tyree Killer Henry Ruggs, but he's super fast, super agile, good route running. Not the greatest hand, but still. Five receptions with 70 yards is a good game against Brandon Ayuk. Alright, next week, he was guarding Robert Woods against the Rams. He wasn't guarding Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup didn't even do that much. He, um, Cooper Cup did better than Robert Woods because James, James Bradbury wasn't on him. He held him to six yards per catch. Only six receptions for 36 yards. That's nothing. Six receptions per catch. Great game from James Bradbury. He might have got a pick this game. I don't remember. He might have. I just know that he didn't guard Cooper Cup in this game. There was one game this year where literally no one had... I had no clue. I'll try to look it up. I have no clue who we guarded against the Eagles one time, but I knew they guarded Jalen Rieger the second time. In the next game, we're going to go over the two Cowboy games that he faced against him. He didn't really do that much. Overall, it was about eight receptions for like 64 yards. Nothing. In the first game, unbelievable for James Bradbury. Two receptions for only 23 yards. Only two receptions against debatably a top 20 receiver in the league. Maybe top 15. Probably top 20 easily. Um, in the second game, not as good, but still pretty good. Held them to under, like, 7. Like, 7 point, no. Yeah, about 7 per catch. 6 receptions, 41 yards. James Bradbury did really good against Amari Cooper and the Cowboys. And the first time, this might have been the game where Dak got injured. I don't know. It was week, it was week 5. I'm pretty sure that's where he got hurt. But still, he played until like the end of the third quarter. Only two receptions for 23 yards. It's pretty good. And now we have Scary Terry. He did. He had his worst game of the year against Scary Terry. Actually, no, second worst game of the year. But the first game, he did pretty good. Terry McLaurin's easily top 15 receiver in the league. Seven receptions, 74 yards, zero touchdowns against the first game. In the second game that he faced the Washington football team, second worst game of the year, seven receptions, about 115 yards, so a lot of yak. I mean, you got to make the tackle, even though yak's not the biggest thing for corners. Like, if they run a good route on you, they get a slant. That's not your fault, because you're not going to go run all the way after them when there's a bunch of people in the middle. That's kind of their responsibility. So the yards aren't that big of a deal. It's receptions and catch rate, or deflection rate. Um... And he got a touchdown off him, so not a great game for him, but not his worst game. He had one other really bad game. I think James Bradbury is easily top seven corner in the league, debatably top five. 
This year, definitely top five. And that's why I'm doing a video. All right, next one. Against both games against the Eagles, the first game obviously. This is the only game I have no clue who he was guarding at all against the Eagles the first time. It doesn't really matter. Eagles couldn't get anything on their receivers, so I'm assuming he had a good game. I tried to look it up because Jalen Rieger wasn't playing. But in the second game, for sure, I knew that he guard, guarded Jalen Rieger. Only held him to four receptions, four to seven yards. Obviously, Jalen Rieger is not, like, a superstar. He's pretty good. He's a pretty good rookie. But he's not that good. But four receptions, 47 yards, about 11.5 per catch or something. That's a pretty good game. That's a pretty great game from James Bradbury against Jalen Rieger. So we're going, we're going down to Tampa Bay where the Packers are going to beat this team called the Bucks. He go to Mike Evans. Mike Evans, top 10, top 12, probably top 10 receiver in the league. He is unbelievable on the field. Just a freaking six foot five, like 240 giant. And breaks like tons of tackles. Five receptions for 55 yards. Only 55 yards. Obviously, Yak is not that big of a problem unless it's like a deep ball. But five receptions, that's very good. Because Mike Evans is wide receiver one with Chris Godwin and Antonio Brown still. Tom Brady played pretty good that game. But what week is this? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty confident they won this game. The Bucks. So that's an amazing game from James Bradbury, though, on his part to lock down Mike Evans, basically. He didn't get much. And now we're going down. Who is this? Oh, this is against the... Oh, Bengals. So this was one that I was, I was unsure about. If he was guarding Higgins... It was either Higgins or A.J. Green. A.J. Green, if he was going to A.J. Green, that's the best game of the season. Zero catches, zero yards. And he was playing, so. But if he was, guard, if he was guarding T. Higgins, it's about five receptions, 44 yards, and a touchdown. That's not the worst. That's pretty good. Obviously, red zone, you can't do anything but touchdowns when you're guarding someone. Unless it's a deep ball, deep post, deep go, get burnt, something like that. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good game, even if... Obviously, amazing game if he was guarding AJ Green, in fact. Next game, by far, best game of the year. Guarding DK Metcalf. <laughs> Five receptions, 80 yards. I mean, obviously, best game is Amari Cooper. But this one, DK Metcalf is a whole different breed. He's better than Amari Cooper. He's better than a lot of receivers. He's top 10 easily. Well, I won't say he's top 10 yet. Top 15 for sure, but... There's a lot of good receivers in the league right now. There's Devontae Adams, D Hop, Diggs. Um, who would you put after him? Julio is still top ten. Calvin Ridley, Mike Evans, Keenan Allen. There's a lot of good receivers right now in the league. Travis Kelsey's even a top ten receiver. Tyreek Hill. Jeez, it's hard to make a list of receivers and quarterbacks and running backs because everyone's so good. But yeah, five receptions, eighty yards. That's pretty good. Don't worry about yak that much. Because there was no deep balls in that game. Five receptions against DK Metcalf. I know Tyler Lockett's receiver one, but he, he throws. He has more targets than DK, I'm pretty sure. DK's a monster. I don't like DK, personally, but he's super good. Worst game of the year against the Cardinals. I don't know how much of this game he played. I'm going to play 94 snaps all season, so obviously he was playing most of the game. D-Hop, nine receptions, 136 yards, no touchdowns. 136 yards for nine catches. That's a terrible game. Not a good game from James Bradbury at all. That was the worst game of the year. Jarvis Landry, seven receptions. That's a little bit too much. 61 yards, one touchdown. So he's had about three or four bad games. But out of 16 games, if you have a 75% chance of having a good game, that's very good. D hops, obviously. Hammer Devontae, probably, D I say D hop. I say Devontae Adams, I'm biased. But D-Hop is the best receiver in the league. No doubt. So, nine receptions isn't terrible against the best receiver. I mean, it's, it's, it's not good. It's not decent. It's not good at all. But it's not terrible. It's, it's bad. It's not terrible against the best receiver in the league. Jarvis Landry, not a lot of yardage. Less, like, eight. Let's put about eight per catch. Last one, Hollywood Brown, four receptions, 25 yards, and one touchdown. 
Great game. Hollow Brown has wheels. Probably faster than James Bradbury. But and that's going to wrap it up for this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Comment down below what you want to see in the next video. Make sure you, all your friends know about these videos. Peace.